my little brother, the whole KTM Orange Brigade team, Twisted Development Motors, Free the Peeps, Thor, uh, Parts Unlimited, Alpine Star, 6D, Scott, Factory Connection, um, JaysSwan.com. Just everybody. I know that there's a lot of other people, but if I forgot anybody, thank you so much. All right, that's Josh Farisi. Let's send it back to the tower. We got more racing going. Kyle Regal, Kyle Regal, report to the MX Sports office trailer. We have something you want. Yeah, I just talked to Kyle before I came here, and he was so bummed out that he lost his phone. Not anymore, Kyle. We've got your phone at the MX Sports office, so run, don't walk, sprint to the MX Sports office. Oh, look at this sprint that's going on right now. Trey Ferrero, who grabbed the Bell Helmets whole shot in this 250B limited class, has got all kinds of pressure coming. That's Carson Mumford. He's got a pair of ones, and now he's got a one. In terms of where he's at, he's out front, the number one rider, number 22. Carson has ruled this class for sure. Tristan Lewis comes in here with a 5-2, second overall. Caden Palmer, 4-4 for third overall, 6-3 scores for Trey Piero. So one of his better rides of the week, Rodney. Yeah, this is a good way to get the best ride of the week is to jump out to the early lead like that, dropping back to second for right now. But look at the host of riders coming in behind him. There's a lot of passing going on up through there right now. A lot of guys are fighting for position on this first lap. Whoa. Oh, big problems there for number 11. Piero as he almost goes down. Straightens her up there, but it looks like the number... 98 maybe of Eugene Christian. Well, we'll check them as they come through now. Carson Mumford out front aboard the number 22. That is Colton Eigeman, the 32 oh, in go. second. It is the 53 of Tristan Lewis, third. Trey Fierro dropping to fourth after that whole shot. Chase Kessler rounds out your top five. Dude, Colton Eigeman barely made it to qualify. He had, uh, I think, double ankle injury. Broke both ankles like one week on the bike. Goes to the regional, barely... And I limp in, I use that word on purpose, and there he is in the number two spot. Derek Rogers riding with two broken hands, celebrating okay, his 21st so you... birthday today. Wow, what a great day for him. <laughs> as, he he as... won up my broke ankles. This guy's riding with two broke hands. Yeah, we talked oh, yeah, about well, this, this guy's guy. next broke. And, he's, and it's his birthday. He's 21. What do you think about having two broke hands on your 21st birthday? It's going to be hard to drink a beer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were saying drink system, straws. What's and he going to take? His sister's here for that kind of support, oh, she awesome. said. Ice those hands with an ice-cold adult beverage for the first time in your life at age 21. Not at the ranch, though. Nope. Carson Mumford out front. Eigenman second. Tristan Lewis is third. Trey Pierre fourth. Jace Kessler is fifth. Caden Palmer sixth. Joshua Boaz seventh. Caleb Weaver eighth. Matthew Sigler ninth. Brett Gurley is tenth. And number 99 just hit the deck. Caden Palmer just went down. Well, you know, looking through these overall scores as we scan down through the 250B limited class right now, uh, a couple of inconsistencies that are certainly noteworthy. Joshua Bowes, the uh, number 23 machine. Oh, here's the uh, little issue that we saw the 11 of Trey Fierro have there a few moments ago whenever uh, he lost that position to uh, Colton Eigenman for the second place position. And you see where how that put Colton Eigenman in. Now, Eigenman comes into this one with an 8-6, and he's one of those riders that is looking for that explanation point, I think, whenever you look at the big picture there, Kevin. And right now he's in a position to make that happen. Here we got another battle that is shaping up, and it's getting intense with Eigenman and Lewis battling for that number two position and three position. And we've got Lewis making the pass on Eigenman, and... Eichmann, I think, is going to try to fight back on this. Well, like we said, he's putting that explanation point on this moto after those uh, first two moto scores. And I'm sure he don't want to go down like that. So the fight's not over yet with Jace Kessler right behind him as well. And Kessler might have gotten around or working on getting around as we see now into the bell. Helmets Forrest Kessler's trying to pick on Eichmann right now. And dropping back to six, we see our whole shot award winner, Trey Fierro. Here's a look at Joshua Boaz, the 23 KTM. Then you had Trey Fierro behind him. There's Fierro on the number 11 KTM, right in the middle of your screen or the middle of the racetrack, depending on where you're watching this from. This is a 250B limited class. Carson Mumford trying to go a perfect 1-1-1. 
And there's a look at Carson with his white gloves, white helmet, ensemble, all red gear. Trains with Randy Lawrence, along with Derek Drake out west. It's working well for him here in this 250B limited class. Middle portion of the racetrack under the Kawasaki banners into the Thor sweeper, the 22. Carson Mumford, we watched him use his Garmin helmet cam. That was fascinating to watch on the racetrack. He's got it back on the helmet again. Top speed of 42 miles an hour. And there's the race between Lewis and Colt Eigelman still hanging tough in that number three spot. Eigelman working on the podium. Tristan Lewis out of Georgia in the number two spot. Perry Yamaha second, third. Well, Eigenman coming under fire a lap ago from Tristan Lewis and Chase Kessler. Looks like he's risen to the occasion with uh, Kessler now about 1.6 seconds back. He was two-tenths of a second when they came through, but the thing about it is the 23 machine is uh, also reeling in the 51 of Kessler, so we're starting to see things shift just a little bit as far as this battle is concerned. You look at Bose there with a two-and-a-half second deficit behind Kessler. He certainly appears to be closer visually on the racetrack. We'll just have to watch that battle and see if that does ever develop How out about there. that? Tristan Lewis looked over his shoulder, and yep, objects in the mirror are larger than they appear are closer than they appear because Colton Eichelman was basically right here. He taps him on the shoulder and goes, what's up? <laughs> right there with him. Wow. Grabs a tear off there. Eichelman ready to fight. You know, we were talking about electric motorcycles and what it would be like uh, if you could probably hear those guys talk to each other. Oh, talking junk like, get out of my way. <laughs> <laughs> and Eichelman continues to work on Tristan Lewis. Trying some inside moves here, putting the pressure on Tristan Lewis. And he's got something working again. Kind of doubling through there. Eigenman lifting the front end, just bouncing through there. So two different techniques to get through the beach of Normandy. Well, this is about ready to be a three-way shootout right here. Thanks. Lewis continues to look over his shoulder. He is expecting company. He's been waiting by the window. His friends are supposed to be there at 9. I think they're just around the corner the way it looks right now. If you look right behind him, there's another look at this battle as they come into the finish line region. Matching lines coming out of that finish line turn. Both Lewis and Eigelman. Almost identical lap times. Look at the lap time. That's 159. One one hundred of a second difference. Wow. Lewis just a hair bit quicker. And Colt Nigelman, who has great hair. Lewis getting a little rowdy over there by the mechanics area, and it's working, though. He's pulled out just a bit over Eigelman. Nine one-hundredths of a second separating Lewis and Eigelman. And here comes Jace Kessler on the Husqvarna. He'll come into shot here as we go under the Red Bull arch. Kessler, by the way, back there in that number four position, the 51 machine that uh, we'll be seeing into the picture on occasion. Uh, another rider that had uh, some good shows and not so good shows as we look at his uh, results coming into the weekend. Jace Kessler finishing second in Moto 1, 27th in Moto 2, currently running in the number four spot. Fire breaking out here in the... <laughs> <laughs> no, that was paper wadding up. All right, here we go. Still, no changes. I mean, this is one where you become a, Ooh, a spectator again. Lewis Ooh. has checked in with Eigenman at least five times. He has made eye contact he has. with him. And he's going to do it again because Eigenman around the outside. Lewis on that inside rut there holds serve. Wow, what a battle Tristan Lewis and Colton Eigenman are having. Battling over that Yamaha contingency money. Eigenman again draws up alongside on the outside. Lewis trying to run it up on the inside. Can Eigenman make the pass? And he does. Wow. Finally able to make that one. It, it took a long time. That was a lot of work. And he's, he's going to deserve those extra contingency bucks there. Absolutely. Impressive. Carson Mumford out 12 seconds in front of this battle. And our front uh, two runners now running under the two-minute mark. We're 159s right now. Yeah, Colt Nigerman matches your leader's pace. 
He's got a good lap cooking here. Lewis will slip back to the number three spot, and see if he can remount a charge. That's so fun about this race is you see guys get passed, and normally at your local race, well, that was fun, it's over. And typically, they'll kind of settle back in and get another attack plan together. That's what the ranch is so unique. Yep, and that's what I was looking for out of uh, Kessler and Bose, to be honest with you. And we were starting to see glimpses of that, but the last lap or so, things have uh, sort of changed in that one. I don't know if they've gotten into some lap traffic and kind of slowed their progress down or what, but we are five laps into this one and uh, nine minutes still remaining to go in this race. So oh, plenty of plenty opportunity for fitness to be in question or not in question and or a miscue here and there. Tons of racing to go. Well, if you're wondering about how the championship is shaping up, this is one of those with a lot of inconsistencies unless you look at uh, the first place ride. Carson Mumford is looking at a 1-1-1. That is by far and away the uh, national championship. He could drop back as far as, I'm thinking, sixth place at this point and still maintain a uh, overall position. But Tristan Lewis looking at a 5-2-3 for second overall. Uh, we see uh, call, uh, Caden Palmer, the 99, a 447 for third overall. Colton Eichmann, an 862 for fourth overall. The 11, a Trey Fierro, who uh, took the whole shot in this one, a 638 at the moment, yields fifth place overall as far as the uh, top 10 standings are concerned. Brandon uh, Gregor, a 756, is sixth overall. Joshua Bose, 3115, is seventh. Brett Gorley, a 1289, is eighth. Eugene Christian right now, 10-7-14 for ninth. And Chase Kessler's looking at that 2 27 and 4 And that's still 10th wow. place overall. That's impressive. And Kessler working right now. He just ran a two-minute flat lap time. It was two seconds quicker than Tristan Lewis. So Kessler starting to close in. There is Lewis on the 32 machine. Wait a minute. No, I give it on 32. Then you have Lewis on the 53. <laughs> And then you should see Kessler. There yeah. he is. And this is the race that I was expecting to see develop uh, about three laps ago, actually. It looked like it was starting to unfold, and then all of a sudden it kind of unde unde undeveloped as the battle for second place heated up. Now it looks like things are starting to heat back up there again for third. Here we are on the Ten Commandments, the center of the racetrack. And Tristan Lewis has company now. Eigerman got him a few laps ago, and now Jace Kessler working on him. Just under seven minutes left to go now for Mumford on his way home to uh, history at the ranch and a championship for the 22. Eigerman, look at that gap, 14.8 seconds as we uh, wrapped up lap number six there. And the race just out of camera shot behind Eigerman. Lewis and Kessler, I think they were side by side. Yeah, there they were, it looked like it coming off that uh, Rocky Mountain there. We'll try to pick them up here as they roll into the uh, Thor Beach, or uh, the Thor Sweeper around uh, Polysport Lake. Lake Polysport, I believe, is what it is. Either way, our good friends at Polysport, we appreciate you. And, of course, uh, say thanks to the folks for the great things. Have you seen that Polysport uh, pad? And they got the bike stand and stuff down on there. Very nice. That is it? very, cool. very nice. Easy on the feet. Seven. Seven laps down now as our top five are checking in. Mumford, Eigenman, Kessler, Lewis, Bose, and now Brandon Gregor. Uh, we see, again, it was starting to tighten up there a lap ago, and it is, uh, again, eased back up. It's kind of got that accordion effect. It looks like uh, battles for third are really going to heat up, and then all of a sudden uh, it subsides again. So still just a little bit of time left to go, five and a half minutes in this moto. So there's still time for change if riders are looking for it. And... It's been a while since I've been outside, but the last time I was out there, Kevin, that sun was pretty intense, and it's uh, yeah, it's pretty warm. And you got to wonder if that may be playing a little bit of a role into maybe the way the racing is unfolding here today. Maybe, maybe, but I tell you what, Jace Kessler is in good shape because he has continuously moved forward. He is now into the number three spot. Got a little bit of a gap to try to catch up with Colton Eigerman. 
Jace Kessler, the son of Mickey Kessler, an ESC guy. I, I'm about to ask him when you're down there. <laughs> There's Colt Eigelman. There is Kessler. Tristan Lewis, fourth. Joshua Boaz is fifth. Brandon Gregor, Gregor is sixth. Caden Palmer, seventh. Trey Fierro, eighth. Brett Gurley, ninth. And Matthew Sigler rounds out your top ten. Two lap board is out. Two lap board from Jeff Canfield. Taking care of us in the tower. There's Trey Fierro, number 11. Rodney Tomlin is on his way to the podium. Carson Mumford turning his fastest lap on lap two, a 156.3. We've got some moto medals to hand out, a championship shield to hand out, the Bell Helmets whole shot award. And the steady stream of RVs and trailers as they honk the horn when they pass us up here in the tower. Mumford out to 15 second lead. Hageman with that 201 lap time. Kessler matching him with a 201 as well. Kessler still three seconds behind Hageman. So Hageman holding court right now. Holding on to that number two spot. There's Trey Fierro bouncing through that straightaway. And we have some real race action now. I believe that's Colton Eigerman. And Kessler's little battle, and there's a nice tight shot of that hay bell. Should see the white flag this time around for Carson Mumford as he starts to approach the finish line here. And he's got the Lucas Oil last lap now underway past the billboards. Takes the left, looks over at the mechanics area. Is about to wrap up a solid effort in the 250B limited class. Mumper picking his way through lap traffic. Hugs that inside line going into the Ten Commandments. Wants to avoid any riders out there. Keep it on two wheels. He's got plenty of points to give. Kessler has made the pass on Eigemann. Two fifty B limited riders out on the racetrack. Senior plus forty five on the gate. Girls eleven to sixteen in staging. WMX Moto number two will complete today's racing action. There is the Shaw, the Sheik, Wes Williams. Carson Mumford one more time around Lake Polysport around the big Thor sweeper. The bike is super clean, hadn't really had to battle or take loose from anyone. And there it is. The number 22 of Carson Mumford is your national champion. That one feels good. Perfect scores, 1-1-1, one, one, one. moto scores. Carson Mumford is the man in the 250B class. There is Jace Kessler, the number 51 Husqvarna rider, charged all the way through the field to finish up a very strong second place.
And there is your third place rider, the number 32 of Colton Agamemnon. That's 10 laps in the books. 53 of Tristan Lewis will finish up fourth. And Joshua Boaz will finish up fifth. We will get ready to send it down to Rodney Tomlin with our winners. All righty. Thanks a lot, uh, Kevin. Down here getting ready to bring our third place position finisher up. We'll be talking with uh, a whole shot award winner as well as second and first in our national champion as well and uh, right now looking for i believe that's colton eigeman your third place finish as uh, saw that pass in those last couple of laps by kessler so colton make your way on up if you will and we'll uh, talk about this weekend of racing if we uh, look back on colton eigeman's week uh, as far as it goes i believe this is his first podium uh, coming into this class he had an eight and a six so a third place position finish here for him today is certainly icing on the cake as far as this championship is concerned and give him a little bit of incentive and something to look forward to as far as the positive goes here at the end of 2013. Colton making his way on up right now. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Colton Eigeman, third place, taking home the bronze here today. Colton, good job, man. I know it's been a hard-fought battle to get up to this podium. You had what looked like second place wrapped up there for a while, but uh, somebody decided to, to, to pick on you a little bit, it looks like. Yeah, we got into lappers, and they're pretty fast. And I came up with two laps to go on, like, three or four of them. And I, I just I tried taking another line, and I got passed. But my conditioning is as best it's going to get. Uh, I, I got hurt both ankles at Daytona, so I wasn't even sure if I was going to make this event. So to be up here, I'm super pumped. Thank you for to all my family for uh, for giving me words of motivation, family and friends, and uh, Climb, Oakley, CD Boots, TF Racing, Yamaha Blue Coupe, Gizmo Mod, Space Force Cycles, Radom X, TF Racing, Olean's. Oh, and Genie, Ricky, Carmichael. Uh, if it wasn't for them, I probably wouldn't be up here either. Well, I'll tell you what, you did a great job, man. Congratulations, young man. Colton Eigenman taking home the bronze here this week in a third moto. And, of course, that's going to better his overall scores as we go to the second-place position. He put in the pressure late in the moto, was able to make the pass in traffic. Ladies and gentlemen, Chase Kessler bringing home the silver. Wow, dude. That was a good one, a hot one out there today. It looked like everybody had settled in the pace but you, I guess, huh? Oh, yeah, for sure. I got off to a pretty good start. I was way outside because uh, I actually crashed my second moto. And uh, so I was way out there. I got a good jump, though, and I just kept pushing. Halfway through, my bike kept cutting out and sputtering, so I don't know what was wrong with it. But I just knew I had to push and get some uh, revenge from that last moto. There you go. It's got to feel good uh, being able to end the week like this, huh? Oh, yeah, for sure. Well, good job. Who do you want to say thanks to? Uh, my mom and dad. I couldn't do without them. Uh, BTO Sports, O'Neill, 100%. Uh, 60 Helmets, Alpine Star. Uh, Tim from TCD, uh, the whole Real Deal crew. We've been putting in work out there. Um, Ethica Pod, uh, Kessler Concrete. Um, heck, my all, whole family, everybody. Thank you so much. There you go. Take it home. The silver in Moto3. Jace Kessler, ladies and gentlemen. As we move next to our Bell Helmets Whole Shot Award, we got 100 bucks here. And we're going to give this uh, $100, $100 Whole Shot Award away again to, uh, I believe, uh, Trey Fierro, yeah, the 11 machine. So, Trey, make your way on up, and we'll... Uh, wow, these guys are really hot. They put together some pretty good battles. This uh, third and final moto, we've been used to these cooler temperatures all week. We're dragging tail just a little bit. But, Trey, man, I tell you what, you didn't drag tail off that start. You got a great start. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I just did what I was doing all week, and I guess finally one came out good. <laughs> and, of course, uh, the rest of the moto uh, turning out pretty good for you in, in the end. You, were you satisfied with this ride this week? Yeah, I, uh, I don't know. I felt a little nervous, but um, I don't know. Just more seat time and everything will be good. There you go. Who do you want to say thanks to? Uh, my mom, dad, TNT Motor Works, my grandparents, uh, GT Graphics, um, Fly Racing, Atlas Brace, 60 Helmets, uh, my, my boy Derek, uh, he's been helping me a lot this week, and uh, everybody, all the people who are watching me back home. I couldn't have done without them. They're uh, the people who keep me going. So thank you guys. All right, and Trey Fierro taking home. What's that? Also Jim Thermalin and Carzalia Valley. All righty, there you go. $100 hole shot there 
from Bell Helmets. And, of course, Carson Mumford going to be taking home the gold here today. And not only that, he picks himself up the uh, coveted Loretta Lynn Shield here from Rocky Mountain ATV MC Amateur National Motocross Championship. And uh, Carson making his way up to the podium right now. Puts your hands together. He goes one, one, one. He takes Moto Gold and the National Championship. Carson Mumford, there you go, buddy. Great job. And uh, wow, that right there is, uh, that's how you win championships, huh? Yeah, that's great. That's always how I've dreamed to do it. That's my first time ever going 1-1-1. One, one, one. So uh, third championship here. I um, couldn't be more happy. Uh, just been working really hard, and uh, it's cool to see it pay off. I uh, struggled a little bit in the other class, but I uh, got it figured out in this one, so uh, I couldn't be more happy. Awesome. What's the future holding for you now? Uh, I think I'm going to do Monster Cup, and we'll uh, just take it from there and just uh, try and build and get better and better, and uh, we'll uh, see what the future holds. All right, man. Good luck to you. Who do you want to say thanks to? Amsoil Factory Connection Honda, my mom and dad, my trainer Randy Lawrence, my trainer partner Derek Drake, uh, Cameron Geyer, um, Pro Taper, 100%, Alpine Star, X Dubai, 60, Shift, Fox, um, Shane, Pedro, Derek, my mechanics, Rick, um, Ziggy from Factory Connection, um, Fox from Dunlop. Thank you guys, I couldn't do it without you. All righty, and now to present to you the number one plate from the American Motorcyclist Association, Ricky R And I present to you, ladies and gentlemen, your 250-minute AMA Amateur National Motocross Champion, Carson Mumford. Guys, back up top. We've got another hot moto coming up, it looks like.